coronavirus, dealing a huge blow to one of Hampton Roads' biggest events today, something in the water. It's been postponed until next year. Now, we keep saying that word postponed. Organizers want to make it clear they're not canceling altogether. If you bought tickets, you can still use them for 2021. Angelo Vargas is live in the studio with more. Angelo. Philip, even though it will happen next year, it's still a major setback for thousands of fans in Hampton Roads, and there are mixed emotions from business owners. They tell us this is going to hurt them, but at the same time, they know it may slow down the coronavirus. Virginia Beach will have its local musicians, but not the artists they were preparing months for. It's just, it's devastating. Kate Pittman is the executive director for the Vibe District. It's a nonprofit supporting local businesses. So we were hoping that the alley here, this, this parking lot and all these small businesses were going to be activated into part of a food tour day on the Thursday before the um, event. And so this is one of the opportunities that small businesses had to connect and really relate to the concerts um, and the whole festival. This postponement will be felt by many. In all honesty, you know, most of the resort and hundreds of local businesses will be impacted by um, something in the water not happening this year. A lot of hotels, of course, had hotel bookings. A lot of small businesses were partnering with the festival in fun and unique ways. The Breakers Resort already had 60 rooms paid for. We're actually booked as um, a hotel property that something in the water workers were going to stay in. So our property was included in the blueprint for something in the water. On top of that, Ginger Caps ordered new furniture for the hotel rooms for something in the water too. It's coming from China and now delayed because of the coronavirus. She will keep the money for the rooms, but will have to wait until April of 2021 for the next Something in the Water. All right, Angelo, people bought those tickets. What's going to happen to the ones who know they already can't go next year? Well, Philip, people are going to be able to get their refunds. Mm -hmm. And according to their website, it says that they'll be able to get that information through an email on March 20th. Okay. And as we know now that according to that website, it says that the festival for next year is going to be three days. Yeah, I saw and, that. And remember, this year was supposed to be a five-day event. Interesting. Okay, Angelo Vargas, thank you for that.